Atezolizumab is the th uh, third uh, immunotherapy drug approved, um, and it is the new kid on the block. Um, uh, the data that got atezolizumab approved was the OAK data. Now, this was on the heels of the Poplar data, uh, which compared atezolizumab to docetaxel in a phase two, and the larger phase three was the OAK data, uh, which compared atezolizumab uh, to, to docetaxel. And uh, I think we saw this with pembrolizumab and nivolumab, but we saw improvements uh, uh, in overall survival, impressive improvements in overall survival with atezolizumab uh, to docetaxel. And importantly, independent of PDL1, didn't matter. PDL1 did not, did not seem, even those patients with low PDL1 expression, still derived the benefit from atezolizumab. It's a very large study. The drug is well tolerated. Uh, and because of that, this is yet another drug we have in our therapeutic armamentarium. Um, the dosing is a little different. It's every three weeks, uh, which can be convenient to some patients versus every two weeks. Uh, but we have an embarrassment of riches now uh, for patients that are chemo refractory. I just wanna uh, you know, temper all the science and the enthusiasm with that. Not every patient will respond to these drugs, but I think it's incumbent upon us to at least offer them for those patients that are eligible, if not under a clinical trial, uh, under routine clinical practice.